Yo guys, what's up? Tech Revolt here, and before this video starts, I just want to excuse if there's any wind noise and stuff, because it's getting pretty hot out here where I am, and if you guys uh, don't know, I do have computers that do mine, so it, uh, it's pretty hot out here right now, and I have the window open and some fans on, so sorry if there's any noise, but today's video, I'm going to go over this Dell Power Edge that I have. It's a I can actually show you right here. It's a Dell Power Edge 2950. Is that coming to focus? There you go. Dell Power Edge 2950 that I got off of eBay. Picked this up for $91. Um, it's got two CPUs, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you that when I get into it. But right now, I just want to go over it. I guess I'm gonna I might go over what's the I/O and stuff, but. I got this a while ago, I just haven't gotten to making a video on it because, you know, um, but yeah, I haven't, just haven't gotten to making a video on it, and I have some other stuff that I'm going to make uh, some videos on about on here too, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, but um, I'm not going to be using this right now because as you can tell where it is, I mean, there's my setup right there, and uh, this is pretty loud, I've got a server rack that I got my eyes on that I'm going to buy when I get uh, into my own place and I'm gonna have a whole networking setup um, in the rack so this is just gonna be one of many things that is going to um, be happening in my, in my I guess server hardware adventures and what I'm gonna be getting into but yeah let's kinda go uh, go around it I've been walking back and forth but yeah let's go around it so it's got two power supplies, which we can pull these out here. Hot swappable um, redundant power supplies. It's 750 watts, which you should be able to see right there. There you go, 750 watts. So both of them are uh, 750 watt power supplies. And they're, they stay decently cool, um, even when it is hot, which is pretty nice. And I'm only using one right now, but um, depending on if I have uh, UPSs and stuff set up on my uh, rack when I do get that done, that that's going to be the decision if I use both of these or if I just use the one. But um, I mean, what's going to be running on here is really just it's maybe some um, servers. This isn't going to be a virtualization server. Um, I'm going to have another one for that. I think uh, PowerEdge R. 710 or something like that. I kind of forgot the name, but I'm going to be using that for virtualization. This is just going to be running. Um, well, this is kind of good. It's going to be like a play around one where I might put Linux on it, Windows, uh, you know, just just kind of it's it's mine to mess around with, I guess you could say. But it might also be used for some more important things um, at first because this is the only one I have, obviously, right now. So this will be like the this will probably be running um, ESXi, and I'll use that for PFSense and all that stuff. But then when I get um, the other servers and everything, and I eventually get the money to get those and get that all set up, then I'll transfer that over, and this will just become my little mess around server, I guess. Um, but yeah, so two of those 750 watt power supplies, uh, this little notification light, if you click the button on the front, this will come up so you can come back around and if it's in an actual server rack in a data center full of servers you gotta find which one it is so you can go to the back and see it um, we got two gigabit uh, ethernet ports right here I'm only using one right now two USB ports I'm not sure I think those are 2.0 um, or they might be 1.0 I'm not sure but based off of the date when this was released I'd say uh, 2.0 VJ serial a drag card so yeah a, a drag card actually came with this and I was looking on eBay and they're actually pretty expensive for how much I actually got this server and this isn't hooked up now because one of the Ethernet ports on my router actually died so yeah I can't use that right now I don't really have a use for it right now since it's obviously right here and I could just put a monitor on top with ease and be able to see what's happening without having to use the drag card uh, we got two little ports here for expansion and then we also got a little bit of an expansion right here but I'll show that when we get into the inside and now if we go to the front um, I currently have four of these bays loaded um, only three drives being used though they're in a raid this one isn't being used 
but I'm just leaving it in there because I don't have any other use for it. And I might use it for this in the future. And then these two are just empty. They're just the basic uh, SAS drive bays, but they're SATA drives. I don't have any SAS drives on hand, but I might get them in the future. I'm not sure. Um, we got a DVD ROM uh, drive here for installing operating systems, and all that type of stuff. And then we just got the little label up here and two USB ports and then a VGA right there. So how you open this is you have this little switch or lever right here and it's got a lock and unlock option which you can't really see that too good. It's pretty pretty dark. But it's got a lock and unlock option and you just pull it back. You see it pulls these. Pull it back and then you just kind of lift up on it. Like that. And we'll put that down. There we go. And then we can put that down. But see, so yeah, here is the inside of the server. Very nice. Um, see right here, we got hot swappable fans. Pull right out. Um, very loud fans. Very loud. Reason why I'm going to be getting a, a, a rack for this, and it's not going to be in my room when I eventually do move out. So that's the thing. Um, but yeah, hot swappable. Anything blue, not hot swappable. Anything orange or red, hot swappable. Um, so yeah, here's the DVD, um, ROM drive, you know, some extra connections, an extra little Molex right there, um, some other stuff, but yeah, um, here's the two PCI slots, I, I mean, it, it would have been really cool if these could have been 60 next slots, because I could have put, I have another card I could put in here, and that would be awesome, because I could use this for, uh, render server and stuff, but I'm gonna be getting another server, probably for that but I'm not sure because you know obviously I'm not at the production standards of that but yeah down here we got our drag card all hooked up and then we got the other little expansion right there uh, with CMOS battery right here I think this is north and south bridge right there got a little ATI card um, but yeah let's take this off so I can show you guys the CPUs um, I'll have these posted in the description because I don't actually remember <laughs> which ones they are but they're Xeons you know of course but I don't actually remember which ones they are so yeah this comes right out right there um, that's a little shroud and basically directs all the airflow over in this way so here they are two little heat sinks right here well, not really little they're pretty beefy but two heat sinks and it's actually really easy to take them off so if I take these fans out here I can actually do it on video is pretty cool. So you just push down this lever, pull it up. Same thing on the other side. Might be able to see it on the video. No, yeah, the thermal base is covering it all up. But yeah, and then it's just copper core and there's your Xeon CPU. They're the same Xeon CPUs. And yeah, it's really easy. I mean, I can see how nice and just convenient this would be in a, a data center or anything like that um, if you need to change something, fix something, just able to go right over here and be like, oh, I need to swap out the CPUs, you know, real quick. And then you just go boom and swap them out. But, yeah, there you go. It's back in solid. And then you just take the fans and you put them right back. Um, great thing about hot swappable fans. Really nice. Um, but, yeah. And then we got RAM. So it's um, error, cor error correcting RAMs. Rams, air correcting, uh, ECC. So we can pull this out here, and it's eight gigabytes total. These are two gig sticks, so two, four, six, eight. And here's one of the sticks here. I'll show you guys this. If we can get a good focus on that. Here you go, two gigabytes PC2. So it's DDR2 RAM, which I was expecting it to be DDR3, but um, yeah, this is my first server that I've ever had. I mean, I've, I've worked with servers before, but this is my first one that I've actually ever owned. And I'm able to do whatever the hell I want with it, which is pretty nice. Um, especially coming from being used to renting servers, which kind of sucks because, you know, pay for it every month. But yeah. Um, and then down here we got like two internal SATA connections. And over here, if you see that all the way down there, we got a USB 
um, two of them USB connections right there, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. There's nothing really else to say about it. It's running Windows Server 2012 R2. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys did like it and want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment uh, if there's anything else you guys um, like me to talk about. I have other computers and stuff where any tutorials that you guys like me to do. Um, just anything really. Uh, just kind of so I can have some ideas of what else I could do on this channel. But yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. That's great. Loud car for loud truck. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.